What we have here is 11 years of wheel nut development in pit stops ever since the beginning of Red Bull Racing. I think perhaps um, you could probably divide them into two sections really, the section that was refuelling and the section that's, um, that's happened post refuelling era. So we start at the beginning with the very first type of wheel nut. It was actually an off the shelf item um, which bought from a third party supplier. We used that for, for three years but it was very heavy and um, we made the decision uh, a little later into the refuelling era that um, we would fit some big carbon discs to the front of the car that were attached to a wheel nut and we knew at that point that we were going to be slowing pit stop times down quite considerably but it didn't really matter because we were connecting a fuel hose to the car we knew that normally the fuel load would be a minimum of five seconds so we were quite happy with the four second tyre change at that time so actually we went to a very simple uh, I think everyone would recognise um, form of wheel nuts um, and that stood us in good stead for two years. However, there was a point um, that it became very clear that we were going to get rid of refuelling and that we wanted to spend the minimum amount of time in the pits possible. And that's really what kicked off the rest of the wheel nuts you can see here in the future development. Um, we went to a lightweight wheel nut with a fairly similar drive system that you could see here. And the benefit of that is that basically the socket could engage very, very quickly. Um, and this big groove here was, uh, was a mechanism that held the nut into the socket. So once again, we, I think we decreased our pit stop times by around about two seconds at that point in terms of wheel change times. It was a much more efficient system. But then we went from there to the next stage. The next stage was to have the wheel nut pretty much the same design but actually captive inside the wheel which I think everyone's familiar with nowadays. Um, the big benefit of that was you can't lose the wheel in the pit stop and also you're putting a new wheel nut on every single time you fit the wheel and, and that's very important especially with these aluminium wheel nut types um, because the threads were prone to damage. You know, very light but very um, fast wheel change assembly. Um, that naturally developed to this nut here. In this nut, we have um, bittersweet memories of here in uh, at Red Bull because this gave us our fastest ever pit stop time in Austin. Um, but also, it was uh, partly the reason why we lost a wheel in the pit lane with Mark Weber in uh, Germany. So, as I say, bittersweet memories there. And really, that nut led on to this one, which we're still using now on the rear axle of the car. Um, for the last few years we've alternated between the front and rear axle having a small one. Um, that's pretty much a standard bit of kit now, hasn't really changed much in the last two years. But what has changed is our desire, um, our aerodynamic desire to improve the car with a blown front axle, which as you can see started off with a much bigger um, axle end than, we, uh, than we'd ever used before, got even bigger. And, uh, and bigger again, and this is, the, this is the, the wheel nut that we're using on the front axle of the car at the moment. It's a um, very complicated assembly, very expensive assembly. Um, but, you know, as you can see, the difference between the front and rear axle of a car this year, that's, what was, that's what's required and that's what we've developed. So, 11 years of wheel nuts.